Hello, it's Jerry Norton, and I'm out here at one of my projects. Jonathan, get down! What are you doing? Get down off of there. That's what happens when you bring your kids to the job site. All right, so here I am out at one of our projects here, and as you can see from taking a look around, this house is uh, still under construction. The roof tile is not done yet, the stucco outside, a lot of the inside is not done. There's some cabinets in and trims going on, some of the tile work, but this project is behind schedule. And I wanna talk a minute about how we handle that and, and when you're building homes, what you should do to address that issue. So here's how we've handled this. This project here should take about five months to build this home if the builder is really on the ball. So he's on schedule, he's got his subs out here working. It should be about a five month project. So what we did is we went ahead and gave the builder one more month, so six months, and we said, look, this is your deadline, six months. Well, we're at the six month mark and it's not done. It's, there's still a lot of work to do on this project. So what we did is we laid out in the very beginning, we said, listen, should be a five month project, I'll give you another month, right? I'm not, a, I'm not being a jerk, I'm being considerate of you know, delays and issues that happen on a project because there's always delays and things that happen. So what we said is we said, after six months, here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna start costing you every day after six months that it's not done. And what we've done here is the way we have our construction financing on this project. So let me back up a second. When we build these homes, typically we have, um, we have money on the lot and we have money on the construction. Typically it's two different types of financing. Uh, on our lots, we usually have private investors that fund those. And then on the construction, we have uh, a construction lender that, that lends us on the construction. Well, the way we have our loan structured is after six months, we start making interest payments on that loan. So for the first six months, we have no payments. Now, if we're on the ball and we're building correctly, our house is done, maybe we're making payments for a month or two or three before we sell the home. So we're not carrying interest payments for very long, right? Well, what we told our builders, we said, listen, at the six month point, we have to start making interest payments on our construction loan. And you should have done have this project done by then, so you're going to start paying that interest payment. And we made that very clear. We said, I'm not giving you this job unless you understand that that's the expectation. And he agreed to it. He said, listen, I will do it. If I'm not done by then, then I'll start making those payments. So we've got a few more months until this is done. Uh, we always try to pre-sell our homes, but this builder, it's gonna start costing him a couple thousand dollars a month that's gonna eat into his builder fee for building this home for us. So the point here I wanna share is that, you know, not every project goes according to schedule. You don't always get done. Everything doesn't just go smoothly. Whether you're building new homes like this or whether you're rehabbing where you're dealing with subcontractors or a general contractor, you've got to address with your contractors, here's what happens. Now, I feel like the incentive to getting done on time is that you get paid, right? That's the incentive. The expectation is clear. I'm not pushing you to where it's unrealistic. I'm very realistic on the expectations. So if you get done on time, you get paid. If you don't get done on time, then there's penalties. You know, a lot of people think, oh, well, maybe you should incentivize your builder and give a bonus and all this stuff. You know, maybe if they got done in four months, great. You know, you could do something like that where you say, listen, if you get done ahead of schedule, you know, I'll, I'll kick in this bonus and pay you a little bit more. That's fine, because now you're selling it quicker and everything's going faster. That, I get that, that makes sense. So you can do something like that. But for sure you have to have a penalty in place with your contractors, because otherwise it just costs us. And I tell, I tell all my subcontractors, our builders, we tell them, listen, we are in the business of making money. If you take a long time and I start paying more every day that goes by, it's costing me, well, that's gonna trickle down to you. So keep that in mind when you're working with builders or contractors in general, and I hope that was helpful.